Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my black screen series this is episode 46 and we don't have many to go out of 52 um, so I should have had this episode out last night because my moods changed dramatically from last night to now I was in a much better mood um, yeah, the Cybertruck's still not quite on the road, um, so I'll explain my mood firstly. So yesterday I was in a good mood, um, despite the Cybertruck still not being on the road, it's almost there, I'm just messing around with brakes, and, um, I've been worried that the batteries that I've got aren't powerful enough um, despite having 52 volts they need to pump out 2000 watts and I don't know that they're doing that yet I've got to get them tested but yeah if you hit, hit it with too much throttle they cut out so that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking that I've been ripped off on the batteries um well not really ripped off just didn't get the bargain that i thought i got <laughs> i basically paid for what i got um so yeah despite not having the cyber truck on the road just playing around with the brakes at the moment um i made some brackets yesterday and i was quite pleased with my efforts and the brackets were to hold the brakes in place better and today i was going to have a mate come round and we were going to fit them up and bleed the brakes again and it should have been right to drive this afternoon but woke up this morning and it's raining so that's the biggest reason why my mood's down because of the weather I always get a bit more down when it's raining um well I get down easier when it's raining so yeah the frustration of not being able to get the cyber truck on the road today I've test driven it if I haven't told you that already um I've driven it around the yard a few times and um, yeah so it works but um, there's a power issue so it's cutting out with power and I suspect that's the batteries. <coughs> um, having said that yesterday part of me being in a good mood was because I ran into my guy that's been helping finance things. I uh, currently I I thought I um had paid an extra payment of hundred and fifty so I thought he owed me a hundred bucks and I was all paid up. I'd paid a hundred too much. Um but turns out I still owe fifty bucks because I missed I miscalculated a payment. So yeah. Next week I will be a hundred bucks up. But by then, he's going to be giving me more money because I'm going to get some batteries um, and some good ones, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the plan is to spend a fair bit more on the batteries and hopefully get some good ones. And that should solve the issue of it cutting out. But, yeah, it might take... A week and a half or two weeks for the batteries to arrive so and i'm supposed to be moving to or supposed to have moved really so i'm thinking of going to the caravan park for a couple of weeks until the batteries arrive um but yeah obviously i can't do that in the rain so yeah um, I won't know that 
these batteries are no good until I finish the brakes off. Um, which, yeah, that'll take a couple of hours or so. And mate was going to help me bleed them. So probably about half a day with his help and we've got that sorted. And then I can test to see if the bat because I've charged the batteries up since they were cutting out. So they're both fully charged at the moment and haven't been used. So I just thought once it, I won't use them until the battery uh, until the brakes are ready to go. And um, yeah, I thought well that's the best approach just wait till the brakes are fixed and then try the batteries out see if they still cut out if they don't then it's good to drive to town if they do i might need to tow it to town um yeah it's not far so i could maybe drive it with it cutting out <laughs> As long as the brakes are working, uh, it just means every time it cuts out, I've got to pull over and um, unplug the battery and plug it back in again, and then turn the turn the computer back on and then go go again. But yeah, so if I have an issue with with it cutting out, I guess I can get a mate to tow me along or something like that work it out even if i've got to um remove the throttle and stand outside it and use it like a remote control car and just have the dogs in it that i'll just walk alongside it so my weight annoying so my weight isn't an, isn't um affecting the the load and making it cut out so yeah, I think it's just when it draws too much power, it, the batteries, the computer tells is told by the batteries that there's not enough power, and it cuts out to thinking that the battery is flat, but it's not actually flat. So that just means that they're not delivering enough power. It might be 52 volts, but it might only be a thousand or so watts instead of 2,000 watts which is a bit of a pain anyway um don't want to ramble on a bit about that too much um so normally i give an update on the dogs and say the dogs are all fine but um little luke isn't so fine this morning if i'd have put this episode out yesterday i would have said he's fine but this morning he's not he's a bit off color he's quite off, quite off color um if he was any sicker, I'd have him at the vet. And I guess someone that was more panicky would already have him at the vet. Or someone that had plenty of money, maybe. If I had plenty of money, I might be, would have taken him to the vet. But yeah, he's, um, he's off colour. He's, um, he's vomited up bile, just stomach bile. So I thought that just means that he's hungry. They usually, they got delicate stomachs, these Pomeranians. And um, Missy's grandmother does the same thing. If she if she goes a bit too long without food, she starts throwing up a bile. And so that's my cue. Oop, Missy needs a feed. That's a too empty sign, you know. And so I just thought it was that with Luke, but it's not really, um, I don't know. Um... I tried him with some tuna, thinking dogs all like tuna. I'm out of dog food at the moment. I've only got dry food, and he wouldn't eat the dry food. Um, so pulled a can of tuna out, and he wouldn't eat the tuna. And I thought, that's unusual. And then I pulled some dog treats out, and he took the dog treats. But then half an hour later, he vomits up the dog treats. But then... It, he went outside, did a poo which had blood, like runny, r bright red blood in it, which is also concerning. And then he, um, 
went and had a drink and then came back inside and when he came back inside he disgusting I know but he licked up his treats that he chucked up um, and ate it all back up again and um, then he went to sleep and he's still asleep so when he wakes up I'm going to try and give him a feed but anyway I'd best go because someone's trying to call me right now and I'll give you as an update next week hopefully the cyber truck will be on the road hopefully I'll be moved by then and Luke will be all better again and yeah and it won't be raining all right love his guys catch us in the next episode all right